21 degrees. Getting on the bike, something ain't right. It's cold as fuck. Gotta love good old balls to Massachusetts winners. At least there's no snow on the ground. <laughs> Damn, either I gained weight or these pants shrunk. All right, what is up, guys? It is a cool, brisk, clean air. It's 20 degrees outside. We don't care. Still on the bike. Don't give a shit. Had to go out and ride today because it's supposed, it is supposed to snow today at about 4 p.m which means I'm gonna be driving at four because all kinds of motherfuckers gonna need rides. I've got to replace this chain and sprocket. They done, but there's no need in replacing it right now considering it's the winter. I will just wait until it gets warm again. Ride with this one for now. You know what I've really been craving recently? Arby's. I want Arby's. And it's gotten really bad. My my want, my lust for Arby's has gotten really bad because I've been watching Hulu and for whatever reason, oh not for whatever reason, I guess Arby's has recently taken out um, some advertising opportunities on Hulu. And uh, any of you that watch Hulu, you know that whenever there's an ad on Hulu, it's literally all you see. You end up getting haunted by it in your nightmares. It is insane. It's it literally every time there's a commercial break, it's the same fucking commercial. And uh, it, it literally ends up being like engraved in your brain. So that is what happened with the Arby's commercial. Um, couple different iterations but basically it's like this big old this big old Arby sandwich just like plops down and it's like such sexual foodness and it's it's beautiful it's absolutely it's absolutely beautiful and the guy that narrates it his voice is like fucking fantastic it's like Arby's we have the meats on a sandwich Arby's we have the meats Arby's we have the meats. meats. Arby's. We have the meats. Arby's. We have. And I'm like, oh, no homo, but I want the meats. I want the meats. Can I have the meats? I, uh, I really, really would fancy myself a Arby's roast beef. That's not how you say it. An Arby's roast beef sandwich. We have the meats. So good, so so sexual. Food is so sexual when you think about it. Just think about the commercials that we see on a daily basis with food. It's just like, oh, oh, yes, can I put my mayonnaise on that bun right there? I would love to put some mayonnaise on that bun. Oh yeah. Also, a bad part about living, don't do it. Bad, don't do it. Don't do it. A bad part about living in Quincy is it's a predominantly Asian population, which is not a bad thing, but there are so many Chinese restaurants and sushi restaurants, it really makes me want to just completely go in debt, get fat, and just overdose on MSG because I love me some Chinese food. I love me some, some fucking General Tso's chicken. And this is, this is all that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about food. Look at that ice right there. That would be really bad to go over. Really bad. But uh, we're not going to attempt to, to go over said ice. We ain't going to do it. We ain't going to do it. Oh. You know, there's something very amazing about when you crack your visor and it's this cold outside. The crispness of the air and the cool breeze coming into your facial area of your helmet going up the nostrils of your nasal cavity it's just it's such a beautiful feeling even if even if the air that i'm breathing is supremely polluted i don't even care it's it's such a nice feeling god damn i had to bump up the air on my bike so so high whenever she was warming up because she was like yo bro it's too cold for this shit man oh you know what i think would be good right now some buttermilk biscuits. Yeah. In a cold 
Old Glass Lemonade. If you know where that's from, comment in the comment section and we will be best friends. Mm hmm Yep. And a cold glass of lemonade. Bitch, make me a sandwich. Bring me a cold glass of lemonade. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh. A sandwich would be really nice. I don't know why I got so much food on the brain, because I'm not even really hungry. But, like, I am a guy that likes me some food. So, I guess that would explain things. Technically in parking spaces, as you can see, that guy right there is going to turn. And I'm a bit in his way. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Turn your Jeep. Turn your Jeep, my friend. Oh, you parked that Acura, man. Whip that shit in there. Come on, bro. Oh, damn, yeah. Let's stop in the middle of the goddamn street to let that old motherfucker go. Jesus. Koi. Koi. Koi? Koi Associate Shovel Restaurant. See what I'm talking about? I am going to have to try that out now just because I saw it. And the sign looks very professional. I'm going to need to go ahead and get me some of that. With a cold glass of lemonade. You know what would also be really good? Some tatty. I like me some tatty. It can't stop. It isn't typical. Oh, oh wow. Saliva went down the wrong path. Hi, Mr. Blue Bubble Wrap Man. Get up there. 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 I don't want to use a throttle here. We good. It just looks cold. I'm sure you can tell by the beauty you. It just looks a bit frosty. It looks, see, that, that sign's always made me laugh. I have cash buyers for tired houses. That just seems weird. That just sounds so weird. Hey, is your house out of breath? Let me buy that shit. Oh, hey, Queensy Police. Hello. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy whipping the fuck out of that truck. Oh, he's going up on the curb. Zing! Oh my god, he's like right up on that building. Fuck. Damn. Your boy whipped that turn in that truck. So yeah, I want you to let me know in the comments section. As you can tell, Arby's has been on my mind recently. I honestly can't think of an Arby's anywhere near me. But that goddamn commercial has got me really wanting it. So... If you have a, uh, tell, tell me a, an ad, a fast food ad that really had you like, oh, I gotta have that shit, and I mean right now. Is there, has there been a fast food ad that's made you do that? Because I mean, dude, the, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Anyway, uh, these fast food ads, man, they're so sexual and so amazing. It, it'll, it, it'd make a vegetarian want to eat a Big Mac. They just look so good. Everything they do in the in the videos is just like, oh, oh man, I know I'm going to get it, and it's going to look like that burger, except a truck ran over it, they dragged it for three miles down a railroad track, and then probably threw it in a microwave. But God damn it, I'll be damned if I ain't going to go buy that hamburger right now with a cold glass of lemonade. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you have had a similar experience with fast food commercials as I have, and if you get similarly, um, affected in an erotic way by these commercials. Because I, I just, I, I, I go crazy, man. I go, oh, oh yeah, Big Mac, give me that Whopper! Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, tell me if I'm just weird or if, uh, if if you've experienced things of that nature. But that is all I got for you today, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Sintra is turning right. Texas. Why are you from Texas up in Boston? What you doing up here, girl?